Okay guys, tip number one for increasing the size of your biceps. It's going through a full range of motion. Okay, now what this means, what we want to do every time we're working a working muscle group, we want to get a maximum contraction and a maximum stretch. So what we're doing with the biceps guys, biomechanically, all we're trying to do is move the joint at the elbow, trying to decrease that gap to fully squeeze, and then as we come down, we're going to fully lock it out. So if we incorporate the bar, we're going to take the rep from full range. So we're squeezing the, the triceps so the arms are straight. The only thing that's moving on the joint is at the elbow. We're squeezing, closing that gap between the elbow and the bicep, and then we're taking it back down to full stretch. Okay, we don't want to half the range of motion, bringing it down to where we're comfortable so we can get that more weight on, okay? Take it full, through its full range. That's going to allow us to get the maximum tension through the full, um, I guess, length of the bicep to make sure we're going to get maximum growth. So tip number one, full range of motion. Stretch, squeeze. Tip number two, guys, control the movement. When we're trying to go through, uh, through our training on our biceps, guys, it is not a race, okay? We don't want to speed up the reps. We want to control it all the way up, get that squeeze, and then we really want to control it on the way down. Take your time. A little tip is, if you can stop the, the bar at any point of the curl, you're in control, okay? We're not just letting it drop back down. We're controlling through the eccentric, or as the muscle lengthens, we're actually stronger through that face, so we're going to utilize that. So what a curl should look like, guys, it's control. Once again, from tip one, the only thing that's moving is our elbows. There's no shoulder movement, there's no hip movement. It's a control curl. We did that squeeze, and then nice and slow, all the way down. Control movements, get that full range. Up again, we're not swinging, it's a curl. We're curling the motion, all the way down. As I said, if we're in control, I can stop that bar. At any point through the movement, I can stop and reverse it if I need to. That means I can control the weight, and the weight is good, all right? Backing it back up. And what we don't want to see, guys, is rushing through, swing it up, um, using those hips, using those elbows, using a fast pace simply to put more weight on. More weight doesn't equate to bigger biceps, all right? Control the movement. Tip number three, guys, is have a plan. Have a training program. This is one of the biggest things that we see go wrong in the gym. It's all great to have good intentions and turn up to the gym and start moving, but where are you progressing? What happens tomorrow? What happens next week? What happens in four weeks? You can't keep doing the same shit and expect to continue to grow. You need to have a plan of attack. Know how you're going to progress. Know how you're going to change different angles, different exercises to make sure you get that full rounded uh, full rounded approach to your training. This isn't just in biceps, guys. This is everything. If you do not have a plan of attack or you do not know where you're going, how are you going to get there? All right, guys? Hopefully those three tips you can implement straight away and get those biceps growing. Enjoy.